Welcome back to Intibles, everyone. So we had a major breakout with EVGO in the Intibles room on Monday from pre-market. On their major news, they had again, they got funding from Pennsylvania at $10.50, jumping all to $18.50 into Tuesday. Broke into new highs going to today, breaking past that. Looking to see if we can break into new 52-week highs. I'm going to go over exactly which levels we're trying to hold above to continue this momentum which indicators will give us confirmation on a continuation from here. And all I ask in return for all of this is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go to the five minute chart with you guys here on EVGO. Then I'm going to go to the forward chart so you guys can see exactly which levels we're trying to hold above to continue this momentum. But I do want to mention before we get started that we do alert breakout alerts up today. We had a major breakout with NUZE today in the Intibles room. Halted at $2.46, jumping up to $7.60 on the day. Over 200% on that breakout. If you guys want to see exactly how that one played out, check the video before this. And we also had a major breakout continuation with SOPA into yesterday from Halted just over $18 on Tuesday. All the way up to $77 going to yesterday, over 300% on that breakout. Again, we do mention news in pre-market before market open every single day. We mentioned EVGO on major news with funding from Pennsylvania at $10.50, jumping all up to $18.50 in the next day until Tuesday in pre-market, almost 80% on that breakout. And we also had more EV news come out on Monday from pre-market with PPSI at $5.50, jumping all up to $12.25 on the day, over 100% on that breakout. So if you happen to be interested in intraday perspective breakouts, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So as you guys can see here on the five minute chart again, we did continue to break continue highs. As you guys can see, we did hold this home running average above the 50, very choppy, but continue to break continue highs throughout the day. Looking to see if we can continue. As you guys can see, we did have a decrease in volume as we did continue to break continue highs in the middle of the day. Not alerting this one on this next level up as we were looking to see if we can break over $20 as a psychological resistance to possibly get a nice move up. But however, we do have our 52 week highs that we are trying to break above. So I'm gonna go over the four hour chart so you guys can see what that 52 week high does look like and what levels we're trying to hold above to get to that 52 week high. So as you guys can see here, we were looking to see if we can respect the 1655 mark as our very key point that we mentioned on Monday. And if we can break over 1655, in my opinion, we could have a gap up here to 2067 and looking for that blue sky breakout here at 2067 for that confirmation is exactly what it would be looking for here. And as you guys can see, going to today, we do have the body of the candle now holding over 1655, giving us that confirmation on that continuation up here on the four hour chart. And as you guys can see, we have our strong resistance here at $20.67. Looking to see if we can climb back over $20.67 is what I would be looking for going to tomorrow. But to have that safer blue sky breakout that we're looking for, of course, is to break continue highs here at $24.17. And 17 cents, but in my opinion, breaking over $25 is going to be the key breakout point for us because, again, $25 is a very key psychological resistance. Breaking right over $24.17, looking to see if we can break over $25 here with EVGO is what I would be looking for to have that major breakout here from $20 to $25, in my opinion, is very risky. A lot of resistance and a lot of consolidation and continuation sell off from this point. So, again, making sure we can reclaim $20.67 going to tomorrow to continue on up is what I would be looking for here. Again, funding from Pennsylvania, major news from Monday, making sure we do get confirmation on this breakout is very key for us as you guys can see we have that increase in buy pressure looking to see if we can break above that strong momentum that we had at 2417 is what i would be looking for to get that confirmation on that major breakout here again getting very close having that increase in buy pressure looking for that confirmation above our previous buy pressure point and if you do want to set an alert here on trading but you go over the plus sign here you click add alert and you put that alert right above your previous buy pressure point so that way if it does break above it then you can be confirmed exactly when that does happen. And again, I do like to set these alerts on TradingView because you could be texted. If you guys are not watching the market, you want to be alerted to exactly very key points in the market. When you see confirmations on these buy pressure points, then the MACD alerts here on TradingView is exactly what I would be doing. And again, this is not financial advice. This is only what I would be doing. And again, with that said, if you do want to see all of our breakout lists of the day, I know the market has been very choppy. Most breakouts have been pre-market leading into open or major volume movers moving into power hour. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout lift today again. And everybody that has been supporting the channel, all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel, I appreciate every one of you guys. Much love to every one of you guys. And if you guys do like this video, it does help to be it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.